then the stand will end support in 2025. You probably all heard about this. But what if I tell you that this is not entirely true? After all, today I will show you the official version of Windows 10 that has support until 2032. That's right, I said 2032. By the way, many thanks to my viewer for this info. Moreover, this build has no ads, no Microsoft Store, and it often gets updates. For real. So, let's get it started. So friends, despite we are in Windows 11, today we're going to talk about Windows 10. As you can see, I take some notes and we will work with this text document. So the first question is, what is Windows 10 IoT Enterprise 2021 LTSC? LTSC is designed for specialty devices and use cases whether functionality and feature remain constant for the life of the device. Completely to be honest, this version can be run on most laptops and PCs, in the future, I will explain. As you can see, I did some research, so please don't complain about this. And let's move forward. I will insert the next link. On this page, we have some relevant info about Windows 10 IoT Enterprise. I want to mention that this is completely different version because there is also Windows 10 Enterprise, but IoT is different. And as you can see, it will get support till 2027. Moreover, it will get extra support till 2032, which is awesome. In my opinion, this is cool and users will appreciate this move. Purely as a bonus, I have more updates on this info, so I will copy and insert the link here. Actually, on this page, Microsoft provides more detail about current version that we're going to download today. So we need to scroll down a little bit. And here we see Enterprise and IoT Enterprise LTSC editions. And we need to find 21H2. And of course, you may notice that here we have IoT Enterprise only, which is really important to know. If you take a close look, here you can find also a convenient version which has support till 2029, but today we will talk about 21H2 version. Now let's talk about requirements. When I say requirements, I mean hardware requirements. Let's scroll down a little bit until we will find this info version and in our case we need to find a Windows 10 IoT Enterprise. As you can see it supports a lot of IMD and Intel processors and moreover we have some NXP processors. Friends, simply to understand this version will run on most laptops and computers so no doubt you can install it and it will work without any problems. The most tricky moment in this video, where to download an ISO file. And completely to be honest, I'm disappointed because Microsoft do not provide a normal link to download this ISO file, which is a totally disaster because I don't understand. Microsoft has a nice version of Windows without ads, etc., but they don't provide a link. Simply to understand, Microsoft don't provide an ISO file, it only provides function where you can find an ISO file. And from this list, we can only use distribution option. You have to find a distributor yourself and contact him. For example, we can click on Windows IoT distributor. And again, we need to click here. Then it will download a file which you can open. Click on it. On this page, you can find your country and of course, email to text or a phone number. It all depends on you. But of course, there still is a way to download an ISO file by using a different website. Yes, we do not talk about Microsoft official website. Link I will leave in the video description. Yep, this ISO file is original. If you're afraid or unsure, you can copy the link and use this website to check if this ISO file has virus or threats. So I will hit Ctrl plus V and press Enter and we don't have any problems. So we can download this archive, scroll down a little bit. As you can see, this is Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2021. In this case, I will click on ISO image, but if you wish, you can use a torrent option. I will click on ISO image and it will automatically download on my laptop or PC. So it may take some time. 
As you can see, I successfully downloaded Windows 10 ISO file and now we need to create a bootable USB stick. But for this, I need to download Rufus. So we need to open our browser and then type next, Rufus, download and press enter. Then you need to click on download. For people who don't know, Rufus is an open source utility which will help us to create a portable or a bootable USB stick. In our case, we will create a bootable USB drive to install Windows and you can select the latest portable version. It will run as portable application. Also, if you wish, you can download the older versions. In my case, I will download the latest portable version 4.2. I will click on it we succeed. Now we can close the browser. My friends, please pay attention and take your time because you need to insert your USB stick into the laptop. I successfully installed my USB drive. I want to remind you that you need to have at least 8 GB of storage. Now we can run the utility, Rufus. Just double click on it. Select yes. Do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? I will select no because this is the latest version. Everything is very simple. Here you need to choose your flash drive. In my case, this is my USB drive and it has 32 gigabytes of space. Then you need to select an ISO file. You need to click on select. From this place, I will navigate to downloads. And here it is, Windows 10. I will click open. In image option, it is necessary to select standard Windows installation. Then you can leave everything by default if you have a newer system. If you have an older system, you can select MBR. That is, it will boot in legacy mode. But if you have UEFI, you can leave GPT partition. It all depends on you. Then you can click on start. And from this place, we can tweak some options. For the example, we can create a local account. Also, we can disable data collection, disable BitLocker, etc. I recommend to check all of these boxes and click OK. All data will be deleted. Click OK. Now you just need to wait until everything will complete and then we will proceed to the next stage. So Fallas, we successfully created a bootable USB drive with Windows 10 IoT. And now we can close this utility. And of course, we need to safely remove our USB stick. For this, we need to click on this icon and find our USB drive. In my case, this is SanDisk 3.2. I will click on it. And now we can remove USB stick from the laptop. So fellas, what I'm going to do next? Next, I'm going to install Windows. For this, I will use a virtual machine, in my case VMware, and you can install your USB stick into the laptop or PC and just install Windows. Everything is very simple. I will show you how to do this in detail. Nothing complicated. Okay, let's proceed. In your case, you need to insert your USB stick into the laptop and you need to turn on your machine. Then you need to press F12 key and select your USB drive. Or you can enter F1, F2 or other key to enter the BIOS. It depends on your model. Simply to understand, you just need to change priorities that your USB stick must be in the first place. Move your flash drive to the first place and restart the computer. In my case, I need to create a virtual machine and actually it will work similar. So I will create a virtual machine, click next. In this case, I will select this option because I will install Windows from the USB stick. Click next. Microsoft Windows will be suitable for me. Click next. In my case, I will allocate 100 gigabytes. It will be more than enough for this video. Click next. Voila, finish. Now I will run virtual machine. Power this virtual machine. I will help to identify my USB stick. For this, I will click on VM, navigate to removable devices, and I will select my SanDisk. Connect. Okay, that's fine. And of course, I need to click here and select reset. Actually, it's booting as a normal USB stick, so you can repeat the whole process on your laptop or PC, and now we can install a Windows. In this window, you need to click next, install now. You need to select Windows 10 Enterprise and LTSC evaluation, click next. Accept all terms and conditions, click on next, advanced, 
Now you just need to allocate space for your C drive and D drive. In my case, I have only 100 gigabytes. That's mean I will allocate the entire space and select apply. I successfully allocated 99.9 .9 gigabytes. It will be the chosen partition. Next. Finally, we are in Windows 10. First that you may notice that if you click on the startup menu, you will not longer see any ads, no advertising, no Disney Plus. Moreover, you will not find Microsoft Store. And yes, this is not Tiny 11 or Tiny 10. I will show you the current version of the system. I will click on the system, scroll down a little bit, and here we go, Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC. If you take a close look, it is 21H2 version, which is really great. Moreover, if you get the latest updates, it will not automatically update to 22H2 version or to the newest Windows 11, which is convenient. I will show you. We will click on home page, navigate to update and security. As you can see, we have some updates. Isn't that marvelous? You can get the latest updates, less security patches without upgrading, force upgrading to 22H2 version or to Windows 11. Actually, I'm a Windows user and at the moment I'm using Windows 10 Pro. But maybe soon I will switch to this operating system. My thoughts on this version of Windows. I think it's one of the best and lighter version of Windows 10 without Microsoft Store, without ads, but I don't understand why Microsoft make it so complicated for people to download an ISO file. I truly believe if they will give such a possibility, people will download and install this operating system and moreover, they will be happy. If this video was useful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to customize Windows with Google AI.